Okay. This is very, very, very important. And this is kind of interesting because I've never had this on video. This is something I usually just keep secluded. Um, I have a theory. <coughs> this is what should happen. A dealer principal or general manager should clearly, clearly identify their mission. What is their mission statement? What is their social responsibility statement? What is it that they believe in? What is it that makes them them? Williams, over there, Kevin is so big on reputation and community, what have you, really? Then that needs to be clearly articulated. Then, what you gotta find out is what are you looking to accomplish? What are your goals and your aspirations, you know, business-wise? You put that all together and that's what your, 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 your model is. And here's what you need to do. You need to find vendors and partners that are going to personify your vision. You need to find vendors and partners that are going to perpetuate the momentum that you create as the dealers. That doesn't happen right now. Dealers just find partners to help them sell cars. And they screw it up. They screw it up because they have their own mission. It has nothing to do with what you believe in. You need to take back control of your organizations and your businesses. These are not bodegas in the hood. These are multi-million dollar businesses that you are running. These are multi-million dollar reputations that you need to secure. Am I right or wrong? Right. All right. All right. You need to first clearly articulate who and what and where you are and where you want to go, then find the right partners that are going to amplify, magnify that as a, as a, as a you know, reality. Here's something that I learned from Franklin Covey. Dr. Covey did a research. Over 65% of the Fortune 100 and 500 companies out there had no freaking idea what the mission was, the mission statement was. How many people here have a mission statement for their dealership? Raise your hand. One, two. There, your hand's going up and down. Do you do or you don't remember? Do you, you remember by heart? No, I don't. I have them. So it's useless then? Yes or no? It's useless. Do you remember yours by heart? Yeah. You do? Can you repeat it, please? to help our customers get the, get the vehicle of their dreams through teamwork, and uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and you were one of the senior managers at your organization, right? What are the chances that your coordinators, your salespeople, will memorize that? Zero. What are the chances that it's gonna be executed then? Zero. You all understand this? Mm -hmm. You need to have a mission statement, a social responsibility statement, and you need to brief your people. That should be part of their employment requirements. You need to memorize what the mission statement is, or you don't belong here. Because how are they going to perpetuate your vision, your momentum, your goals, and, 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 you, and basically you know, represent your organization the right way if nobody knows what the hell it is that's in your heads? And here's how I'm saying this, and you're thinking, man, he's right, I should, yes. Think about this. You have a vision for your company. You have a philosophy, an idea. Is that personified on your website? That very essence, that very uh, you know, substance of who you are and what you are, is that clearly articulated on your website? No. Is it clearly articulated in your email templates? No. Is it clearly articulated in your voicemail messages? No. Is it clearly articulated a day-to-day -day standpoint. If the answer is no, 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 and no, you got work to do, people. It takes your breath away when you think of it like that, right? Mm -hmm. You agree with me or what? I struggle with it. You struggle with it? I mean, talk to me. Like, like his mission statement. It's a great, um, more of an action plan. Take care of the customer, all that. But the, you my mission statement is to make every damn dollar I can. Okay. That's my mission statement. But That's how? why I go to work. Now, the action plan is take care of the customer because I understand the correlation between customer satisfaction and profit. But, the <laughs> but here's the thing, though, is that you need to probably modify your mission statement that would make sense for your people. How do you turn around? Let me, let me digress. There's different types of mission statements. <coughs> we, we understand that, right? Again, there could be a mission statement that's just three words. Um, 
love, forgive, teach, whatever. That's a mission statement. A mission statement could be as simple as three words or it could be as, as uh, detailed as a paragraph. What I'm trying to say is what is it that is really important? Yes, I get it. Make as many deals as possible, etc. How are you going to do that? Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How are you going to do that? By engaging as many people as possible, meeting their needs, and then selling them a car. You, do you see what I'm saying? Again, that just, and I just freestyle them really, really quick without, this usually should take a little more than 30 seconds to, to you know, write a mission statement. But the point being is, I just said something very powerful there. Meet as many people as possible, because how are you going to turn around and sell as many cars as possible? You need to meet as many people as possible, create as many opportunities as possible, make as many people as possible happy, and then sell as many cars as possible, mm -hmm. which makes as much money as possible. Do you why, see? Why, how, what? There you go. I mean, again, there's actually in the Franklin Covey book a little exercise on how to write mission statements. But again, that's what you might need help with is how to structure a viable mission statement. And that's just a nice little catchphrase, but the whole idea is you want to call it an action plan, then fine. Give everybody their marching orders. I was military. Give them their marching orders. Give them the rules of engagement. Give them something that they know what to do. Time check? Six minutes. Okay. I forgot what hotel this was. It never happened to me. I read about it, so I'm not even going to lie and say that it happened to me. But like, it was one of the examples of mission statements. I forgot what hotel it was. I think it was in Dr. Covey's book. Um, but like, the guy went up to the, you know, to the guest relations or the, you know, the people that check you in at the hotel and asked you know, where the restroom was. You know? And instead of just saying, oh, it's down that way, and then go around there, the, the guy literally came around the desk and said, sir, come with me. It's, it's this way. And I actually walked the person you know, almost to the door. Huh? Four seasons, something like that, right? So you heard the same thing. Okay, because in their mission statement, it is like, you know, the, the guests, not customers, the guests are the most important aspect of the business, and they, they're going to go above and beyond. And they live, breathe that whole entire philosophy, right or wrong. Correct. That's the only thing I'm trying to get out of this, is that if you have a mission statement, of, uh, you have a philosophy, and then you infect, I'm using that word, it, it's, it's contagious. If you infect your people with that common goal, that common interest, that common mission, you're going to be that much more successful. Does that make sense to everybody? Yep. Yeah. Because here's the other thing. Time check? Seven minutes. Okay, I got, I'll do it too. The reason why I name my company Synergy, this is deep, this is something I, I don't normally share at all, this is private for me, is that people... And you can come up here, look at this. This is my philosophy. Individual people have energy, okay? That's what these lines are. The X's are people. They have different skills. They have different resources. This is deep, right? Draw this thing down. Okay, everybody has energy. Everybody, you know, has strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. They have skills. They've got habits, good, bad, whatever. Each little thing is energy, 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 energy. Unfortunately, most people don't work together. Most people aren't on the same page. Most people don't have a common goal, strategy, etc. That's why most people are jacked up and, and, and suffer in mediocrity. It's true, fact. However, there is a more effective place to live. You have the organization. You have people. Same people. Same people. But what you're doing You're taking all the strengths, your minimum, your, all the weaknesses, the people that are, that are not good at phones, what have you, you don't have them there. People that are good at phones, you put them on the phones. You have one common goal, one common interest, which is the organization. If you're good to the organization, if you feed the organization, the organization is going to be good to you, it's going to feed you. You're working for one common goal, one common objective. You can't work for one common goal, one common objective, unless you have one common goal, one common objective, and you're constantly training, ingraining, training, ingraining, and reinforcing that fact to all of your people. Synergy. Synergy is defined as two or more agents that come together are greater than the individual effect. Peanut butter is good, jelly is good, put it together with some milk, it's got a banging lunch. Follow me? That's what synergy is. <coughs> Cut. <coughs> 